don't have my phone. I was not safe in my country. I didn't expect anything, but I expect that I will be safe here. But it was not true. I come to the Netherlands, then I asked the asylum, asylum here. It was a reject, but I didn't have any option to go to the other country, and I was hungry because I didn't have any money. I get to eat, and I didn't have any room. I didn't have any job. It was really difficult. Then I, that's why I have to work in the souvenir shop because I didn't have any option. There was no any contract because I was illegal. My boss he forced me. To, I have to live in his house. I sleep in the like, I sleep in the room, but the room was without light, without heating, or without bed. I have to sleep in the in the ground. My boss, I think he's really crazy man. He treat me like is I, I was his celebrity. He don't behave me as a personal. He, he used me as a, I was his servant. I work from 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock. I work 16 hours per day and he paid me 1 euro 50 cent per hour. If he saw that I sit, then he said that you are not allowed to sit. If you sit here, nobody come inside to buy. And this is my shop. And I said to you, you are not allowed to sit. If you sit, you go outside from today and you sleep in the street all day, all your life. Because to my boss, he forced me, I have to stand for the 16 hours, now I have the problem in my knee. Now I cannot walk and I cannot stand. It's a lot of customers, I spoke with a lot of customers and they don't know anything. Because the salesman or the businessman, they have to always smile with the client, I know that. I don't feel good, but I, I used to smile because that's my work, what I learned. I didn't feel, and my heart, my heart was always sad, but my face is always smile. I plan to escape any time when I, I joined with him from the next day, I plan to escape from him, but there was no option, I cannot go anywhere. I plan every time. I think when I can leave this job, when I can go to the better place, but there was no option. And I was lucky that 2010, I get the Azil Zucker Centrum again. They called me the Azil Zucker Centrum, and I went to the Azil Zucker Centrum, and I left this job. As a person, I feel, I feel the change, I feel happy to leave this job. I don't want to recognize because I was I'm afraid with him still. If you know that I'm here, he may kill me.